So can I beat a rank 600 player in Marvel Snap? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video because I recently did a friendly battle with Educated Collins, someone you may know from Twitch and YouTube. He makes a ton of great educational content, deck guides, tier lists, just breakdowns on how to play the game. I will put some links down in the description if you wanna check out Educated Collins. I know you will certainly learn a lot. I know I have certainly learned a lot from watching his videos. And uh, we recently did a battle with uh, this MODOK deck where uh, it's a pretty standard looking MODOK deck, but uh, we didn't want to play tier one stuff. So I turned to MODOK and he turned to some Dark Hawk Devil Dinosaur list, as you're going to see. So it's kind of Zabu Dark Hawk stuff. And uh, we battled it out and it's a pretty fun series of games. Now I will say a few things. Collins is not the most talkative player on stream so i don't have a lot of cuts to collins back and forth in this video like we might have seen in some past uh, streamer battles just a few key moments here and there if you want to hear more from collins there's going to be a little chat at the end of the video where he'll he'll share some thoughts and and tell you all about his content and stuff keep that in mind also this was recorded prior to the arrow nerfs so you're going to hear us both talk about arrow a little bit we're referencing the old version of arrow not the new nerfed version of Arrow. I'll put a reminder, but do keep that in mind. Uh, that said, Modoc here is going to take on a rank 600 player. Let's see how well his big fat head and my big fat head can fare. Yeah, sorry guys, I got the black screen up to hide my code. <laughs> I sent him a match code. I, I, I can't cancel it out of it, so I have to wait for him to 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 pick up the match. Oh. Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're playing um, a Modoc deck, and he, I think he said he's going to play something with Darkhawk, but we don't really know for sure what exactly that means. Uh, I got to think about how to play this deck again. It's actually been a while since I've, uh, since I've played this. Nova, so this looks like a Sarazabu Darkhawk, a, a deck I know pretty well from playing to Infinite uh, just last season. So Wolverine, we're actually better off keeping in hand for the Modok. Uh, Vault is hard for us to contest on the final turn, so it might be nice to get down a Mobius or a um, Dracula there. Sif, we can absolutely play, that's fine. Uh, let's put it here between that and Sunspot. We're probably not playing anything on four usually, so... Well, we might play something on four. So we definitely want, we're gonna, if we do, we're gonna put it here. So adding a little extra power to shore up the sunspot seems fine. Oh, he's playing a moon girl Zabu. Oh, interesting. I wonder if he's gonna try to get multiple dark hawks, I guess. Might mean it's hard for him to contest vault. We might be able to win vault with something really small. Let's just do this. Because he's gonna wanna play dark hawks on six. And he won't be able to play them here. Two Dark Hawks on six, maybe. He might put in a Rock Slide right now, though. So we could put a Modok here, too, though. Um, No Morbius right now and no Dracula, though. So we are probably hard playing an Apocalypse on six. Yeah, Rock Slide's in the middle. Yeah, OK. So Modok hopefully can test this and then said, hopefully APOC is big enough to win right on the final turn, right? But also maybe do a Shang-Chi if we wanted to, but we're, we're playing the Modok, so I think we're, we're stuck on the Apocalypse for 16. Uh, not hitting Morbius or Dracula, though, makes this game a little rough. Uh, if he's heads up, he knows he can play both here, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what he does this this turn. I am a little less sure of Sarah is always an option, but it doesn't feel like Sarah is necessary in this deck. If you're doing like Moon Girl Zabu stuff, so Black Widow is fine and White Queen. He's gonna get the big Apoc. So here, I guess we have to ask: Does he play the big Apoc here to match? He can't really play the big Apoc to match because then he loses the left. Easy win. It's it's not a win. 
Right, because he plays 16 power here and he goes to 20. We only get um 18 here. We could do this, but then we go to eight here. Doesn't work either. Because he's unlikely to have a, a one drop big enough here. So he's gonna play double dark hawk. He has to play one here and one here, right? One dark hawk here. We only have six cards in deck, that's twelve. So that would be an 18 power play to a 20 power play. I think that means we're okay. If it's only double dark hawk, we're okay. Maybe like a dark hawk here and a rock slide here actually would be enough. But he did he did he play the rock slide? We don't know. This isn't the copied one. So we could lose to dark hawk here, rock slide here. In which case, I could maybe make a sneaky play where I ride the sunspot out. Because he kind of knows he can't win with a Dark Hawk here at only 12. So does he ever just play Rock Slide Dark Hawk? There's no reason he'd ever play double Dark Hawk, right? So do I just hold here to beat the to beat the Rock Slide? I think so. Oh, he just doesn't have anything. Okay. Victory. All right, that felt like a heads up win, honestly. Um, I felt like I kind of knew what was happening every turn of the game there, man. I don't know, that, I was in the zone on that one. I, I think that I think the sunspot roll is actually the right play because I just don't think he'd ever want to play double dark hawk because we know the math isn't there if I play the apocalypse. I mean, you know, he could go to the second layer of that thread of thoughts, right? <laughs> if he wanted, but uh, uh, you know, he could say, oh, he knows that. So he's gonna, he's gonna soak the sunspot and then, uh, you know, whatever, but I, uh, I don't think we go too many layers deep. Korg, okay. So Korg, Black Widow are his enablers. Um, no Morbius right now. Is Calling Wing here worth it? We don't want to play it on four, so we are going to play it. Now would be the time. Without a Morbius to enable the Mystique, I, I actually think we're fine to play it, right? Because Dracula we know is happening on four. There's no reason to hold. Modok, in other words, doesn't need more cards because he's not scaling a Morbius. Any cards for Modok is fine. The Modok here is just to set up to enable the Apocalypse, really. Which we do need to hit, actually. Kind of forced to play this Killmonger. Feels bad, man. For the record. Okay, Mojo World we can't really contest. We don't have Swarm. We don't have ways to go wide so i think we just pass here into dracula we we absolutely though need to hit that freaking apoc to make make dracula good said, don't go right <sighs> well there's the swarm bro i mean that makes the modok more interesting at least um and it means i can contest mojo world actually as well because i can play swarms next to this apoc or next to this dracula now but if i don't hit if i don't hit an apoc modok is actually not even that good if we went for a morbius instead we could maybe go for the turn six modok just have to decide if i actually want to contest that is the wolverine really worth the trouble on that or not we might be able to surprise him by playing swarms there anyway. He's really all in on Mojo World. Okay. I... Yeah, we don't love to see that. I'm drawing a Chavez, but you can always just play Chavez instead of letting it roll into the Dracula. Or no, you... Well, yeah, without a Morbius, there's really no reason not to. Yeah, we didn't hit Morbius. I, I mean, this is already a 12 to 11 advantage, and then you have the double swarms here. So you could contest this, right? If I'm adding six more power, but the problem is right there, if he puts one Darkhawk here, he's heavily favored. I don't, I don't really like this, but... I think we go elsewhere, right? You can go Devil's Sign to this, this, or this, this. They're basically the same card. We want this here actually because the swarms are bad in sewer system. They're better in Lemuria. Yeah, Devil Dino is not that big right now.
I mean, it's maybe big enough though. He didn't play anything like a, like a copy, but we still expect like two cards to come down here. Do I ever play for a surprise like this? Unless I'm getting arrowed. No, but I mean, he's probably getting um, Chavez. He just has to go mid, right? Everything mid. I think maybe I should, I should, um, I messed this up. I should swap the Dark Hawk and the Moon Girl. This is, this is, this is what I get for playing on autopilot. I mean, he saw the double swarms. I feel like committing a lot of power there is a little bit crazy. Um, does he have an arrow? Is another question. Cause if so, we could do something like this and beat an arrow. Cause he wants to arrow here. Then we double swarm and then beat the arrow like this. Do we think he has arrow? He's running devil dino moon girl. Feels kind of weird to play around an arrow before you see it, but <laughs> I don't know. This is a little crazy because it's wrong if he doesn't have arrow because you're putting more stuff here to get negative stats. I mean, you know, they lose two. They're only twos instead of threes. I'm actually going to play around an arrow just as a heads up thing. I don't know. No arrow. Okay. We, we learned at least though. Um, yeah, it's just Moongirl Darkhawk. Okay. So we actually still almost have the stats to take this. So we put one swarm mid. I'm really surprised. He doubled down right, um, even though I showed no inkling to go right. So I'm glad we didn't do the swarm Chavez thing right. That would have only added, what, uh, 15, 19? Yeah, we would have lost there. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now he's going to be like, oh, I could have won this. I said to put the, uh, the thingies mid. But I messed up here. I should have just swapped the Dark Hawk and the Moon Girl. But I was kind of playing it on autopilot. Um, okay, so maybe no arrow. We've seen all but two cards. I, I don't know if he has one or not. My Zabu Sarah list ran an arrow, but he has more Moon Girl stuff, so I don't know. This is a really good hand. I know that. Holy crap. Mm, Sherry's Lab is not great for us. Perfect starting hand. Actually, probably a snap worthy hand. Probably, probably a snap worthy hand. Uh, Colleen Wing is good too. We haven't seen any disruption for a Morbius, right? I am really worried about Shuri's lab. Uh, I guess it's not that great with his stuff. Rock Slide, White Queen are pretty good. Oh, that is actually pretty good. I, I hope it doesn't turn into to Shuri's lab. That's that's not a good location for us. Okay, Mojo World we can do. Uh, do we actually want to put a Widow's Bite there? I think we have plenty of ways to play to that first with Swarm, so there's no reason to put a Widow's Bite there. Really want a Dracula off the top here. That would be the dream. Give me the Dracula off the top, and we're really, really happy, people. The Black Widow does feel like it's disrupting us quite a bit. Dracula? Ah, oh, nice, yeah. Okay. The real problem we have, though... Well, we have a couple problems. Mojo World is kind of easier for him to win than us, I think, because he's a lot of small, low stuff. Uh, and Swarms don't really contest that that well. Shuri's Lab scales up his Rock Slide and his White Queen. It's going to be a little bit hard for Morbius to keep up with that. I'm wondering if I actually stack here and then play like a surprise um, APOC, and maybe not even a Chavez. Maybe a Chavez if it seems big enough. But Modok, I guess, gets big too, doesn't he? So maybe like Modok and a dude here, and then Dracula and a dude here. Maybe we split these out so like Modok here and Dracula, or one of the one of the big dudes here. What did he discard? He discarded Swarm. Ah, uh, he won this game. This game is over for us. But he's he's not snapping. I mean, I haven't been either, but. Well, he might not have more, more dark. And then that's our saving grace here. Yeah, we actually have some big guys too. I, I like this. Let's snap. I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, okay. He does have it. All right, all right, all right, whatever. Hitting the Dracula makes me feel really good. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. Victory. Surprised he was that scared there. I guess maybe he didn't have a Darkhawk yet. 
I haven't really shown anything super powerful, just the Morbius. That's the right kind of hand we want, though. Sunspot? Alright. Korg again, man, he hits that Korg on one every game. I actually feel like I'm more bothered by the Black Widow for whatever reason, but... Alright, so Dracula Apoc is good. Uh, we just need that Modok. He hits Zabu on two every game, too! He's a god! Modok in hand. That is, again, very good news. I wish we had a Morbius, but we don't. We're not going to have time to play one. So, uh, we know he's going to put some power right. Dracula... Plus Modok right maybe could be a thing. We're, we're pretty favored left or I guess actually mid thanks to Bifrost perhaps. Just wondering how much I want to stack these two up versus spread them out. Yeah, the rock sucks. I mean, I guess if I'm not putting this with Sunspot, it's going here anyway, so. It's going to be pretty high powered with Modok and Dracula. You're looking at a 16 power Apoc, 24 power with Modok, so that's pretty good. Meaning even more stats left. Fulton's in his deck, okay. Clear for takeoff. I mean, this is always Modoc and it's always here, so that's easy. <sighs> we can play a Chavez mid with some swarms, perhaps. Is Modoc worth a snap? We we saw Zabu, we didn't see a Moon Girl yet. He could play a Devil Dino here, but we kind of outscale the Devil Dino. He'd have to commit even more power here. I feel like this is snap worthy. The Modok is a pretty good snap play. We have the stuff we want. The only thing we're missing is Morbius, but... That's Devil Dino, yeah. So we're going to 24 right, which he can beat, but it's a lot of work to beat, right? This is 15 to 12. He didn't play any any copies, so he has one Dark Hawk. What would his other threat be? Maybe like a White Queen? So 18, in other words, would be a pretty significant break point mid. If we wanted to try to win mid at 18, what do we have here? 15, 18 would tie with a swarm, but I gotta put, I think I gotta put one swarm left to, to cover left. It needs some coverage so that it's not a freebie. So I mean, a tie here, we would probably be fine. How big is his Darkhawk? Six, it's 12, he go to 29. Uh, what are we going to do, six to 24, he'd be up by five. No, he'd actually lose, oh, this loses two with the Darkhawk though. So 27, 25, I think we win by one if he plays Darkhawk and a White Queen. Darkhawk Moon Girl actually might. No, we'd win here with Moon Girls. So that'd be that'd be fine. I think we're okay. I think we tie. I think we I think we, we win a tiebreaker if it's Darkhawk White Queen. And I think we win left and mid if it's Darkhawk Moon. I guess a Moon Girl left actually could beat us. Oh, full commitment right. Is that like a Oh, the Killmonger. We tie the Killmonger. Uh, so we, we, oh, we're fine. We get 24, right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. It goes to 24, yeah. Woo! Close game, dude. That was not the play I expected. Mystique? Killmonger. Killmonger was a big swing, nine power play. He must not hit his Dark Hawk, I guess. I don't know. High stakes. All right. 50-50 uh, there is a little annoying. I don't remember that being a problem in this deck before, but I don't remember playing the Swarm discards early all that often either. This is probably worth it just to get the Colleen Wing. She's, she's big, right? Um, okay, so negative zone's not really a huge problem for that Nova. That's going to get wiped off later very often. Oh, this hits Sunspot now. Uh, 
Since we don't have another turn three line, let's actually maybe do this. I don't want to lose the sunspot that freely. He's still pretty cool. Morag might be tough for us. That's a little risky too, actually. I guess we're playing Modok anyway, but that means it's going to pull the APOC, right? Oh, I'm going to have too many stats here, man. Uh, I'm playing Modok. It's going to... Well, it could hit a Swarm, I guess. It's gonna, We have a pretty decent chance of hitting a Swarm. I hope Wolverine does not roll right here. We're going to be... Oh, that's good. No Wolverine. That's really good news. So it'll be a pretty good chance to hit a Swarm in Grand Central, not an APOC, which will give me more flexibility. Ooh. This is nice. This just always wins mid. Like the, the I think that the the stat dump here should be enough to win mid usually. Um I could actually put it in Morag if I wanted to, but I don't think we'll need to. He's probably playing one card in Morag usually. I don't know. We'll see. Chat, I am not even reading chat. I'm sorry. I'm really locked in. I'm tryharding. I don't usually get to like try hard a Marvel Snap. So it's kind of fun to get to try hard sometimes, you know? Hmm. This Widow's Bite is actually a huge pain. Because I don't want to put it in negative zone, right? <laughs> I guess I can put it over here. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that big of a pain. Never mind. It's fine in Morag. Order, bro. Order, bro. So, um, this is pretty solid, right? We're in a good spot. I could snap here. But... He just got a Zabu down. Let's just wait. Let's just, let's see. I think taking two cubes is also fine because then he's going to be down to two cubes. just going to be hard for him. Hopefully Wolverine does not roll right, number one. And hopefully we get a Swarm, not an Apoc. Wolverine goes left. That's good. We're very likely to hit Swarm, not Apoc. I mean, Apoc's not the end of the world because I can still hit the Chavez, I guess. Oh, dang. So here I can just roll for for six, right? And then we're fine. I mean, alternatively, I could say screw that spot. It's not great for us. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's a guaranteed win, right? If I go for the if I go for the six, but am I guaranteed to win mid? Can he add enough power to be... I mean, we, we either get 9 or 16. If I just went for the 16 power APOC, would I always win mid, I think is the question. Devil Dino is not huge. Zabu is down, so there are some two-piece combos. Like, Rock Slide actually also buffs this. So actually, if, if he goes for a Rock Slide or a Korg or something, he could add up to 6 power here and go to 34. I don't... I, in other words, I don't think we play for this then, right? I think we play for these two spots. Which means I put a Chavez here and an Apoc here. The Swarm here doesn't do anything though. Does that matter? Nine here feel like enough. We go to we're adding 12, 16. That feels pretty good, yeah. I mean, this is free, I guess. We have to play it so the Dracula doesn't hit it. Yeah, this feels pretty good, actually. Yeah, Killmonger also a threat. Yeah, that's a good point too. I think this is gone anyway because the Darkhawk can get too buffed. So let's just play for the other two spots. Mystique on the Dark Hawk and then a rock slide? That's not big enough. There's no way. That's tiny. Tiny baby stats. Yeah. Dude, Modok is actually insane. Oh my god, I love it, dude. Modok is OP, man. Victory. Dude. It's a pretty clean win from him here. I'm gonna. I got to call Collins. I'm kind of in a spot where I feel bad. I, I, I don't like it. You know, it's like, it's like I, I'm happy. You know, we won. That's great. But I'm feeling kind of bad. Um, uh, dude, I'm so sorry. Modok's pretty good. I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, what? Why are you apologizing? I don't I, understand. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel Take bad. Take the win. Take the win, sir. You know. I mean, I'm I'm happy to do it, but I I, I feel bad. Uh, I don't know. I I I, uh, I I wanted to give you a great showing. I was, you know, I I I I, uh, I told everybody how awesome you are and to go watch you. I, I and... absolutely don't mind. I'm not I'm not here to, you know, be a like a great competitor. I'm just kind of here to teach people and stuff like that. So you know, it's 
doesn't don't really care about winning or losing too much okay anymore. okay i won't feel so, too bad so don't worry about that at, at all no okay. dude you, your youtube stuff is so good dude you're and, and frankly it's doing really well too i feel like lately you're getting a ton of views and uh I, like i learn so much watching and you're doing such a good job like educational content wise like you I'm are not... you are destroying with it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the only reason i get win is because i learned it from you yeah but uh i was telling chat to go watch you because i'm not good at like educational content so much i tried to make one video this week but you're just killing it I, I try to be like goofy and entertaining but you're like actually making people good at marvel snap which is pretty cool i'm, I'm starting to see the ramifications of my actions you know? <laughs> <laughs> but i've been good. I've been watching too many of your videos, dude. I'm, uh, dude, I'll tell you, I was really in the zone. I was honestly tryharding pretty much. I wasn't even looking at chat much. I don't know. So I may have taken it too seriously. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I, I appreciate that. You know, it's it's um, it's respect for your opponent to try, you know, that kind of thing. So Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you going to try to get into some tournaments and stuff and, like, actually, like, compete or stick more to, like, fun? I mean, I guess kind of mix of both probably, but... Well, so, you know, you know, I was in Hearthstone, right? Like for BGs and stuff like that, right? I was definitely a competitor here. I'm trying something a little bit different where I'm not super focused on the competitive aspect per se in terms of me competing. If if I get invited to invitations and stuff like that, I'll definitely play those. And if like the price point increases where like it makes sense to compete as well, then I'll, I'll definitely try my hand. But my, my goal is not to at least be a competitor. My goal is to like, you know have educational content growth be a content creator i guess instead of a competitor because i've done that for hearthstone yeah i'm trying something a little bit different uh for this game that kind of thing yeah i, th I think it makes sense the expected value of of being a, a professional competitive player is honestly pretty low unless you're just i mean i was able to do it <laughs> Right. Unless you're at, well, you're, yeah, I was gonna say, unless you're absolutely busted, which you are, you're cracked, so you can do it. But for most people, you know, it doesn't work out. I think for me, I recognize pretty early, like I'm not dedicated or disciplined or good enough to, to, to do the competitive route. I was like, I gotta be the funny video guy. So uh, I, I think you're gonna do great at, at, at balancing both, though, frankly, because I think I think your competitive instincts drive your drive your videos so well like it, it's a natural you know it, it's kind of a roll off of, of you being really good at the game and competing is having a lot of smart things to say you know so it's it's gonna it's gonna be a nice like symbiotic relationship for you i hope yeah i mean i'm just trying you know we're seeing i i'm letting the the youtube video uh viewers dictate my content basically i just see oh what's popular okay i'll make more of that <laughs> <laughs> that's that, this is the way yeah. <laughs> you figured it out yeah i just put up agatha decks and people are like yes i want more agatha <laughs> uh, I, I they don't control that much <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just week all agatha wait 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 till you see the wait till you see the agatha views you're gonna change you too and you're gonna be like oh my god we just do all along <laughs> it's the agatha master <sighs> i mean agatha and cerebro every day i see i see what you're saying yeah yeah i actually don't do as much cerebro i don't know i think that's dexter's territory he's like the that cerebro is, that guy is <laughs> he's doing really good too so it's it's uh it's crazy isn't it to to be in snap compared to hearthstone it feels so different like so exciting and new and like like growth and and like people are watching you know it's cool yeah it's it's definitely a different feeling in terms of like but but it's it's different because i'm my my i guess the way i'm playing the game and approaching the game is also different right so that also changes it in terms of like not stop grinding or, or whatever and like always learning versus teaching instead of learning which is a little yeah different. yeah well I, I think you're naturally suited to it man i'm really enjoying the youtube i know lots of other people are i just linked you up in my chat too so thank you so people, much people will be heading over to watch and then uh yeah i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna edit these together into videos i feel kind of bad that i won make sure uh, I, you know make sure you 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 uh, record the death the death scenes you know <laughs> yeah i mean honestly i was gonna frame it like can i beat you know the best player in the world type thing oh, no. <laughs> and, and i was like can i beat a rank 600 player because i was expecting to lose and you know and the story was gonna be like no i can't and then i did so i don't know what to do now it's like i'm gonna change it up a little bit we'll 
We'll, we'll put you in a good light. Don't worry. Why? Why? Well, just say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> End of the say yes, we can. You know. Yeah, and Moda can at least. Because we learned from watching the channel. You know. There you oh, go. I like that. I like that. The best player in the world taught me how to beat him. <laughs> That's good. The 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 student becomes the master, I guess, sort of thing. Okay, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. So, um, yeah, man, thank you for your time. I really appreciate you playing some games with me. We can do this again too if you want later, like someday I, in the I future. I love dra the draft mode. I I really would like if there was one thing I could be like, could you add this? Like, besides the balancing and and the card acquisition, blah blah blah. If they could put like an official draft mode in the game, I'd be like, "Ooh, let's go!" Just nonstop because it's basically arena, right? And that's basically what I did like the first years of Hearthstone. I'd just be playing arena nonstop. So yeah, I was gonna say I, I think you started in arena, right? So it's yeah. a. I actually agree with you completely. I think I would play it a lot. I was never that much into arena, but I think like the deck size, like each pick is like such a significant part of yeah. your deck, and a lot of cards have sort of independent utility you know there are obviously synergies that you could you could pick out but a lot of cards are just gonna feel independently cool and useful and significant like i think it that would be awesome i, I would play it I a mean, lot too M Baku meta <laughs> <laughs> yeah if Baku can work in a draft you know it's good <laughs> Love uh, oh dude yeah i look forward to that i hope that happens they that they tease great. more more competitive modes but i don't know what they're gonna be so yeah, I, I'm wondering if they're gonna add like a second, like a extra rank mode or something, maybe using the battle system or, or something like that. Cause I definitely think it's hard to have like a super competitive mode with the way the bots are like infiltrating everything. Right, um, right. Like ladders not really doing that service. Yeah. I mean, it does say game modes on the menu with an S, so they're definitely planning something. <laughs> It doesn't say copium. friendly battle down there. I, I can right? hear so. the copium, but it's fine. <laughs> no, nah, who knows? They, they got to have some stuff coming. I'm excited. So anyway, man, appreciate you. Love you. Love your stuff. Uh, we'll do this again soon. Um, I'll link you up everywhere on, on YouTube and Twitch to get you some more love. So. Sounds good. Are you continuing? Uh, yeah, I was going to, if you don't mind, I was going to hop off and do a, another deck for a video. Yeah, I gotta... yeah, 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 go for it. No, I, I'm just like, should I, am I hosting you? <laughs> oh, you know, no, no, pick somebody else. No, pick a small uh, streamer oh, okay, or something. Okay. I, I don't, I don't need it. Pick, share the love with somebody else. I, I'm All fine. Right, sounds I'm good. good. Sounds good. All right. All right. Uh, anyway, thanks, man. All right. Take care. Have a good one. See ya.